You know what I could really go for today? Three exhaust installs on Project FC3. <laughs> Okay guys, but seriously, we are going to install three exhausts on Project FC3. We have them right here. Uh, one of our best videos uh, that we've put out so far is the seven exhaust video for Project FC3. It showed you seven completely different exhausts, what they sounded like, what they looked like, what, were, what our thoughts were on them. I think we even like ranked them and stuff. Um, so if you wanna see that video um, at any time before or after seeing this video with these three exhausts, go check it out. We'll put it in the link above right here. Um, it's a really, really good video. It's one of our most popular ones. So I uh, got a, a lot of good feedback on that one. But, you know, we've been itching to work on Project FC3 lately. That was a while ago that we did that video. So a couple of these exha exhausts have come out since then. And one of them we just couldn't get at the time that we did that video. So we're going to load up three more exhausts onto the Civic. And, uh, and just show you what they sound like, what they look like, and tell you what we think about them. So without further ado, I'll tell you which ones they are. We've got the MagnaFlow right here. Um, this is a this is a 2.5 inch system, so it's not full three inches through. If you wanna know what I think about a two and a half versus a three inch exhaust, go back to the other video, and I, I think I do mention it a little bit. But uh, <clears throat> if you're basically, if you're sticking with stock turbo, I think a two and a half inch exhaust is gonna be totally fine for you. I think, um, can you get more power out of a three? Yeah, most likely, but it's not going to affect performance and give you that dramatic of a change going from three to two and a half on a stock turbo because the turbo is pretty small. So uh, it's not as big of a restriction um, as on a big turbo setup. So. So the MagnaFlow, this looks like it's a like a twin muffled tip, twin muffled twin tip setup with like a resonator in the middle. You know, once we open these up, we'll go through them. The full race, I honestly cannot remember exactly the configuration on this one, but I'm actually really excited to try the full race because full race is kind of they're not known for their exhaust systems like cat back exhaust systems, like MagnaFlow is or like a Borla or something like that. Uh, they're more known for like, you know really really awesome turbo kits and really awesome tig welded you know fabricated performance parts um manifolds all sorts of stuff like that a lot of other things too but they're not exactly known for just their exhaust so i'm kind of ex uh, i'm kind of excited to see what this one's going to sound like and look like i'm sure it's going to be beautiful uh and then we have the afe power now we did an afe power before but this is a different style than the first one we did we bought the afe power that was the first exhaust we ever put on the car and it was this huge like dual muffler system that kind of mimicked the factory looking style a little bit. It had a lot of bends and turns into two big mufflers. And that's what kept it really, really quiet. It was very, very quiet until we put a downpipe on. This one is a more straight through design. It's similar to the design of this MagnaFlow and it is also two and a half inches. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna see what these three are all about. Let's, uh, let's get going on this install. Okay, so we left off with the Gretti DDR exhaust. This is the last exhaust we ended up with on the car. We really like this one. The style is kind of crazy. This huge, long kind of um, dual muffler tip right here. We love the sound on this thing. Super high quality, really aggressive, cool tips. But uh, this is where we left off. So this is what we're gonna take off and switch out to these new ones. Okay, so we're gonna start with the MagnaFlow first. What kind of surprised me about this one is it's all V-banded. I didn't expect it to be V-banded, but it is. Those are kind of nice touches. Uh, here's a big resonator right in the middle here. You can see it's straight through design. And then this is the rear section. These, this is the twin muffler, twin tip. Nice beefy big chrome tips there. Um, of the one pipe going into a twin exit. So this is the, these are the main two components of the exhaust. The rest is, uh, you know, pretty straightforward. Mandrel bent, stainless steel. Um, the piping looks really nice. It's MIG welded, so it's not like the prettiest welds in the world, but super functional. MIG welding is totally fine. You're never gonna see this underneath the car. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get it on.
All right, the MagnaFlow is on the car. We're gonna lower, lower this, this thing and put it out on the road. So normally MagnaFlow is actually pretty, you know, in my opinion, they're fairly tame, but that's what I thought about Borla last time. And on that seven exhaust video, the Borla, that thing was the craziest one. So uh, we'll just have to reserve judgment until after we actually start this thing and run it to see what it sounds like. So let's cold start this. Mamma Jamba. aggressive like you know like I like I said the Borla was um, I could certainly picture how it could have been it's got pretty small mufflers and a straight through resonator um, but for the most part this thing is pretty tame and again we do have an off-road downpipe wink wink so um, so this is as you know about as loud as it's gonna get inside it's not not bad at all pretty I wouldn't I wouldn't say mellow like I wouldn't say mild, but I wouldn't say aggressive. It's like a really nice balance right in between. Um, it's just a really nice, nice smooth tone. Like you can tell MagnaFlow really dialed this thing in. So um, I think I like it more than I thought I would. Uh, this thing is pretty dialed. So, you know, for those, um, I don't know where in the video we're gonna do uh, outside the car and inside the car but we already did the outside the car outside the car as of this moment and if you can't tell already it is you can see the snow in the background of some of these some of this video it's and it's also very very cold out right now it's uh, nine degrees right now and it's like 3 15 in the afternoon so um, it's just a very cold day the tires are cold the grounds cold we just cannot get any grip um, so you know it's really tough to get a nice a nice smooth pull with the condition so we apologize for that but um but yeah anyway i like it i like this exhaust a lot it's it's solid <laughs> just wheel spin everywhere <laughs> that was downhill too <laughs> just crazy wheel spin there's just zero grip zero grip today so All right, let's go get the next one on. I think the next one will be the AFE. I have a feeling I'll end up with the uh, with the full race on. I really, really like that one. So let's go try out the AFE, see what that one looks like, and see how it sounds. All right, gonna take the MagnaFlow off. Got the car up, car up on the lift. Let us know what you think of the MagnaFlow. Is it a like? Is it a is it a dislike? Tell us what you think. Also, all this stuff is available on the site, so make sure you check out edgeautosport.com. Let us know if you have any questions. They're available. Check them out.
Okay, the AFE Takeda line is up next. These come in black and polished tips. I'm a sucker for the black version. Uh, not so much a, a fan of polished things in general. So I like the black, but uh, it'll give us a good good change up from the last exhaust to see the black one. And then the AFE is pretty much straight through piping, uh, except, well, yeah, it's all straight through piping and then it's just got this single resonator right here. So, you know, you can see it's very straight through. Uh, the resonator kind of comes welded into a pipe, unlike the MagnaFlow where it, it kind of comes separate. It doesn't really matter, but uh, these are also slip joints uh, with the exception of the flange that goes onto the front pipe. Uh, we're gonna do slip joints on all these, so um, should be pretty easy to fit up. So we wanted to make note of something, let you guys in on a little uh, hot tip from Edge Autosport. Get it, hot tip. Uh, so anyway, we already broke one of the clamps that is provided in the AFE kit that is made to fasten the, or to clamp the tip onto the exhaust piping. And it's because they're these dinky little, you know, thin 11 millimeter bolts. Um, and we broke one just hand cranking it and it was still like you can slide this thing front to back and i just cranked it pretty good with a half inch drive wrench so uh by the time i got that deep on this other clamp that we had at the shop um that's actually came off another exhaust two and a half inch clamp that's about maybe half inch quarter inch wider but much much beefier 13 millimeter bolt like, I mean, it just cinched it right down and uh, this thing is not moving. So, I don't know, AFE, it'd be helpful if, uh, if we could get some better clamps with the kit. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, if these clamps don't work, you might need to go get some beefier clamps at the store. If you like this exhaust and you get it, you might run into this. We've ran into this before on another kit before on, uh, on the Focus. Um, so anyway, just wanted to let you guys know, beefier clamps are better on slip joints. Sounding a little bit of 
a little bit of rasp involved in this one. Not like really as that resonator definitely helps, you can tell. Uh, but it is, you know, a little bit raspy. Um, once again, the roads are just so cold and the tires are so cold. We're actually shooting three days after the MagnaFlow because when we were done doing the MagnaFlow, uh, it started snowing, so we had to wait. And then the next day it snowed and then it was really cold the next two nights. So we've had really bad luck trying to finish this video. Uh, but yeah, this one's definitely way more raw sounding, uh, way more aggressive. Still actually has a pretty good tone in my opinion. Like it sounds pretty good. It's just more aggressive, that's all. like an aggressive exhaust where people can hear you and uh, you know you get on it you get a lot of sound this is definitely a good one so but I would call it like reckless you know some of the some of the exhausts out there are just like why why but this one's not not that way it's just aggressive so uh, I don't hate it I don't hate it not my personal style but I don't hate it so yeah, uh, we got one more to do. Let's go jump on that. Let's go pull it, pull it back in the shop and uh, we'll get her done. Which one do we have next? We got the, uh, oh yeah, it's the uh, full race. Oh yeah. All right, let's go do it. video this is the one I was looking forward to leaving on the car which is why I did it last so I was super excited to do this however kind of ran into a little bit of a fitment issue here um, first of all it's a really tight fit which is not necessarily a bad thing I mean it fits fine from the muffler section all the way forward but the muffler section on this thing you know it we could have gotten a bad kit or something or, or a kit that was just misaligned from the factory or something like that um, or you know it could be a little bit of a design flaw that Full Race needs to just take a look at really quick. Uh, and I'm going to actually email them to make sure about this, uh, to, to make sure that maybe if this was a one-off or something, uh, that, that they haven't had any other fitment issues just like this. And granted, we did buy this kit for this video actually quite a while ago. We just haven't gotten into it yet. So for all I know, maybe they fix this, but I'm going to contact them anyway. But just to let you guys know what we're experiencing right now, when we put this on the four hangers that hang on pretty much all these exhaust systems the muffler section or the rear section um, we we reuse all four of these hanger locations we have two new ones right here these are not the oem ones and we've been using these for all of them because they act like the oem ones which is fine but all of them have used the oem hangers on the very very rearmost section however this full race exhaust it it will only slide into one of these. It's too wide, it won't go into both of them. So I suppose you could have a different type of hanger, but to me, I think the hangers could be located in a better position to make use of the stock hang, uh, the, the hangers on the exhaust, like the hanger rods could be used, could be put in a different position to use the factory uh, hanger bushings a little bit better. Um, so if you wanna check, take a look, look at it from the back, you can see that it's slightly to the right if you have the left bushing on. 
We actually tried to do it the other way around and it moves it all the way to the left just that much, the same amount as it is to the right right here. So it's off center and it just simply will not use these factory bushings. You can see kind of like right up here, um, this bushing just won't go in. So um, kind of sucks because I was looking forward to keeping this one on the car. Just for the fitment issue alone, I won't keep it on the car. I'll go back to maybe that Gretti DDR, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, I just want to let you know, we're still going to run it. We're going to do the sound so you know how this sounds. This is a this is something that could be fixed. Honestly, it could be fixed by you or an, an exhaust shop, but uh, we'll talk to Full Race, make sure they know about our experience, and, uh, and we'll go from there. But let's go get the sound clips. I think this is more of like, you know, what every guy would probably want, or like a, a lot, the majority of people would want. Loud and aggressive, but not crazy, not raspy. Yeah, it just sounds right. I mean, it's tuned so nicely. Uh, it sounds good, so. Out of the three, I'm gonna say, you know, Without a doubt, this one sounds probably the classiest and the nicest um, and the smoothest. And cruising around, you know, like on D cell, pretty smooth. Not really raspy at all on D cell. So there's no really weird spots with the full race. With a lot of exhaust, there's always like this one little subtle spot where you can pick up just a weird sound or a weird resonance. This thing doesn't really have that. It stays smooth throughout, which is really, really nice. So definitely good for daily, definitely good for just an aggressive daily. I like it a lot. So we're about done. Uh, we're going to pull this thing in. Let us know uh, what you guys think about these three exhausts. And uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think. Hit that like button. Shoot us over a comment. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd be glad to help. We're gonna finish out this video with one last little tidbit for you. One change we're gonna make. Let's go inside and do that. All right, here's what I have to show you. These are the tips for a Gretti DDR. Uh, these are available separately from the exhaust. They come in two different sizes. One is 170 millimeters in length. One is 150 millimeters in length but they are a burnt titanium tip. And so this is just an extra accessory you can purchase if you have the DDR exhaust, which is right behind me. Um, because of our experience with the full race, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off and put the DDR back on. That's what we last had on before we started this video. But this is kind of the extra little tidbit that I was telling you about. I'm gonna get these uh, Gretti titanium tips on. Um, I mean, they're easy to swap out. So I'll try the 170s. Uh, just to see how far out they stick from the bumper. And if it's a little bit too aggressive, I'll switch to the 150s. But just wanna let you know that these are available uh, through us now. So 
go get yourself one if you have a DDR setup. Or if you want to buy a DDR, you can always get these with it and just have an interchangeable set of tips. So anyway, I'm going to get the DDR back on the car. We'll show you some final uh, kind of video or images of these on the car and we'll end the video right there. So thank you very much for joining us. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. You know the drill and uh, we'll see you next time.